Hey everybody, this is Tall Gaming Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, I want to talk about whether or not we'll see Brody or Victoria again in later issues of the Life is Strange comic series. Now in case you haven't seen the latest issue that I've uploaded to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend go seeing that, or if you have and you um, don't care about spoilers, I'll just give a quick recap. So, in Max's timeline with Chloe, with her Chloe, you know, the price field that we all want, Chloe ended up meeting Victoria. And then in the next issue, in the timeline where Max is with, Ra with Rachel and an alternate version of Chloe, we end up seeing a character from Life is Strange 2 called Brody. And Brody is the guy that helps Sean and Daniel after they escape from the convenience store or whatever it's called in the forest or something like gas station, rest stop, whatever, you know, and this he only appeared briefly towards the end of episode one and I, I, he didn't really leave a lasting impression like I, I thought he was an okay character, I wouldn't mind seeing him again and we did, we got to see him again in Life is Strange the comic series in this newest issue the new, the new issue that came out so I gotta say um, I don't know about Victoria I don't think we'll be seeing her again but it is possible we might see Brody now at the end of the last issue um, there was a storm that was happening not not a cat catastrophe storm but yeah, there was a storm nonetheless and the high seas band their band ended up crashing and Max decided to rewind time we saw Tristan there and then before Max would stop herself from rewinding she rewinded so could we end up seeing Brody come along could he end up helping because the thing you gotta understand is when Max rewinds time she stays in the one spot while time rewinds around her and if she has anything on her uh, person then that item is with her when she rewinds and like for example if um, any of you remember Life is Strange 1 Max has to save Chloe in the restroom and you pick up a mallet smash the glass for the fire alarm and activate it now if you have the mallet with you and you just let the scene progress it will get to a point where it says okay you have to rewind time to save Chloe and when you do rewind time you'll have the mallet in your possession so so anything that Max has in her possession in the game and rewinds she'll end up having it won't go in the same place so it's got me thinking maybe okay Max has rewind to a point where the high seas bands van it's right behind them so she's gonna pop up in front of them in front of Pixie and everyone else and they're gonna end up hitting her and at some point um, they're gonna have to get her to the hospital or maybe Brody might end up running into them because because the gang Matt, Chloe, Rachel, the high seas man they don't know this new area too well so I'm thinking maybe Brody might end up stumbling upon them and he helps um, show them where a hospital is because he's a blogger and he just goes around writing articles and that. I don't know if he knows the area too well but I wager he knows it better than the others do. Now the thing about uh, Brody and Victoria is they're also in separate timelines as I mentioned before so could we see Brody in in the other timeline in Max's original timeline? Possibly, but I guess the same could be said about Victoria in uh, Rachel's timeline, in the Waves, Strings, Partners in Time timeline, in this new timeline that Max is in. We could see Victoria there as well. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility, but I don't know if they will show because I guess it really depends because this com comic, when I, I've read comments that people leave on my YouTube videos when I upload the com comments I always do my best to respond to you and I've seen a few people say that they're done with the com comic series like one person's like 
thanks for uploading the content, but I'm done with the comic series, Emma doesn't know what she's doing, she's just stringing us along, because I forget who said it, but the comic was originally meant to be four issues, but then someone wanted the series to continue, so Emma had to come up with a completely different ending, and so that's how the comic has gotten completely out of hand. It, it's not too bad, it's... It does have its moments here and there. There, it it does have good shock value, and like personally, I feel bringing characters um, like at like Brody and Victoria, and just having them there for one issue and not to drive the plot is completely pointless. You know, like. I, I don't know, that's just me, like, I have nothing against Brody and Victoria, yeah, you know, like, I have my problems with her, you know, in the game, but, you know, people can change, like, I used to have problems with David, but I've grown to like David, and I especially like seeing him in episode 5 of Life is Strange 2, that was a pretty great cameo. So, and, and that cameo right there, it, it was... It was different from how Victoria and Brody are in the comics because David was there to push the story forward, to push the narrative. But and he was also a nice cameo, but he also helped push the story forward. But with Victoria and Brody, uh, I just I want them if they're going to be there, then I want them there to help push the story forward. I just don't want them there if it's just for a brief cameo, or for, or for, you know, sh shock value. So, anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Tall Game Junkie, signing off.